Hey everyone, how's it going? Hopefully not too bored yet. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up widget interactions. So hopefully by the end of it, we can actually touch a widget with our finger and then we can make it do something in the level. So we got pretty much full interactions going on. What we'll do is we'll start by going to VR Pawn and then in here, we set up in the last video, our index finger collisions. We're going to move this over to the left and then we might actually drop this down this bottom section so we have more room to play with. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the completed for the for each loop to attach a widget interaction to our finger. So on the right, we'll start off with Oculus XR hand right, and then we need a widget interaction. We actually have one already set up for widget interaction left and widget interaction right. I'm gonna keep those there because they're part of the controllers, although we're not using them anymore. So yeah, we'll delete those. What we'll do is we'll Widget interaction left, uh, we'll move this onto our left hand. I'll just X our hand left. And then we want to do widget interaction right. We'll move that onto our Oculus X our hand right. And then we will delete motion controller left aim and motion controller right aim components because we don't really need those. Widget interaction right, we have here, it's currently set up to a pointer index of one, that's fine. We're gonna bring this in to be about here. And then we do the same thing with our widget interaction left component. We're gonna bring this in to the top. What we want to do is we wanna get our left index finger and right index finger, which we've got references to here. So left index finger, get, right index finger, get. And we're gonna attach these to it. So we're going to drag off one of the variables and do attach to, attach component to component. So widget interaction left is going to be our target and we're attaching it to the parent of index finger. And we're gonna do that on completed. Cool, so we'll set location to be snap to target. Rotation, we're gonna keep relative because we need to rotate that around and scale, we'll keep the same. And we're gonna copy and paste this down here. So we've got it for the bottom. Cool, so the target is going to be our widget interaction right with the right index finger being the parent. I'm gonna plug that into completed. And then now, hopefully, if we go to widget interaction left, show debug, widget interaction right, show debug, we should see these in the scene, but they might be pointing the wrong way. So let's hop in. We'll take a look at our hands. So yeah, we can see that they're rotated downwards. We need to rotate those up. So viewport, if I remember correctly, the right one needs to go minus on the Z. Let's have a look. I'll double check and then I'll come back. Nope. So we want it on plus 90 for the right hand and widget interaction left. We'll try that as well with 90. So we're rotating these to point the direction of our index fingers. There we go. So we've got little pointers that we can use. So now if we touch a widget, we could actually interact with it. Cool. So let's set this up. We're going to go to event graph and what we can do in here is we can find a section that's free. Uh, we can select our widget interaction left. And then on the right hand side, behind my head, let me move myself. You can see here we have this event on hovered widget changed. We're gonna select this and we're also gonna select it for the right. So widget interaction right on hover widget change. And we're gonna bring these both up here like so. Cool, so with both of these in here, what we can do is we can actually listen to see if we're over a hit that hit if, we're, if the widget interaction is over hit test visible widget, is over hit test visible widget. That's the one that we want. And do branch. I'm gonna bring this down so I'm on the right section. Widget interaction left is over hit test visible widget. I'm gonna do branch and then plug those in these events. So when the widget is hovered over something and it changes, it fires this line of code where we check to see if it's over a hit test visible widget. If it is, then we can make it do something. In this case, what we'll do is we'll drag off the widget interaction and we'll do press pointer key. So press pointer key on true is gonna be our left mouse button. And then we want to drag off again and we wanna do release pointer key and plug that in like so for the left as well. So duplicate this down and then we can plug them in like so. And then we want the widget interaction right to be plugged in as it is. Now I realize I didn't move myself back. So there we go. And now we can actually set up a widget to test this in. So let's comment this. So widget detection. And then in our VR template, we can create a new folder. 
So new folder, user interface, widget blueprint, widget blueprint underscore hand tracking test. And then actually let's create a new folder as well. Let's call this UMG hand tracking move here. And then inside of this, we can create a button. So let's just do something super simple. We'll try get a button. We'll wrap it with a size box. So we can control how big it is. And in this case, we'll go to fill screen at the top, desired on screen. And then we can control how big it's gonna be. It doesn't have to be too big, but we can add some text in here that says pressed or press. There we go, cool. So we got our little press button UMG. We're gonna make sure that our button is a variable. And then in the event graph, we're gonna make sure that on clicked, we print string. Actually, what we might have to do is do pressed. So on press, we're using widget interaction with on pressed. So we're gonna do on press, we're gonna do print string, and then we'll have this as event button pressed. So now if we create a new blueprint inside of our content graph, we can display this in the scene. So actor BP underscore widget display. We can open this up and we can go to add components widget. And then if we do compile, we can select it from the right here. So on the right, we can scroll down and find our widget blueprint hand tracking test, our big, big button. And then we can change the scale of this and bring it into our level. Might have to check the collisions on it, but it's hopefully good to go. So do it that way. And then, and then we can drop in and we can hopefully go up to it. Cool, teleport, teleport. And then we can see that when we hover over our finger, on it that it actually says pressed which is super cool but the problem is our widget interaction traces are really long so we go back into our player select widget interaction left and widget interaction right we can change this interaction distance to a value of two or three let's say three should give a reasonable distance so now if we go in we can see our little pointers on our fingers we can go over to our umg and then when we touch it it actually says button pressed so I can do that with the left hand and then with the right hand. And if we turn this off, so let's say these are a value of one, so they're really small. And then we turn show debug off. When we press play, we hop back in, we can go up and then we can actually tap the button with our hand like it's already there. And then we can do the rest of it. We can play around and then we can interact. We can also touch, we can pick stuff up like so. So yeah, pretty much all the interaction you need to start building your game, which is awesome. But yeah, so we got hand tracking in and everything else. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you want to see more, then let me know. If you've got any ideas where we should go with this, then feel free to tell me that as well. I think if you put all of this in with the, the pass through tutorials that I've done in the past, you'll have a pretty strong starting point to build everything you need for a mixed reality project. I'm not too sure where to go with this project overall now that we've done pretty much most of the things. But yeah, if you enjoy this, let me know and then we can take a look at doing some more. Yeah, all right, bye.